Good morning all. In a previous project, I used one of these Adafruit Arduino FX uh, soundboards, and I wanted to uh, use, a, use it in another project, but um, it's out of stock and 15 bucks. So I went to eBay and found this little module. It's a BY803-16P SSOP2 MP3 audio serial voices SPI flash module 3W amplifier micro USB and all that for only five dollars and looking at the specs seems to do everything I want to do uh, it's got a little diagram of the pins and some files so I ordered it and it arrived a couple of weeks later as you can see it's uh, much smaller than the Adafruit sound effects board when you plug it in it shows up as an 8 meg flash drive and it already has 10 files on there and as far as I can tell, I don't, I don't speak Chinese. I believe they're counting from one to 10. So I replaced these with some MP3 files of myself counting from one to 10 to test with and placed it on a, a breadboard of a small speaker. And then when I take the ground pin and ground out any of the pins on this side, you can hear me counting from one to six. So let's tidy up the breadboard a bit and plug it in again. I'm going to replace those 10 files with a few different ones. Unplug it. And now it's actually running off a, a small LiPo battery. So there we go, that was super simple, no programming required. As it was running off a battery, I was curious as to what current it was drawing uh, at idle. Uh, it's about 18.33 milliamps. But I, I tested it and it turns out if you ground one of the pins, uh, as soon as you connect power, it plays the file uh, of the pin that's grounded. So if you were to put this in a greetings card or a small box and have a switch that connected power when it was opened, this would literally draw no power whatsoever. Now looking at the documentation uh, we can see down here there's a, a TX and an RX pin and then further down the page what look like commands that can be sent and running them through Google Translate I found the one that was to do with playing a, a specific track and I wrote a, a small sketch that stores the hexadecimal values uh, opens a serial connection and then writes those values one at a time and you can hear it repeating the word one over and over and if I go back into the sketch and I change one to two guess what it says two over and over Of course, changing all these values would, would be a pain and not very user-friendly. So I wrote a library that gives you the ability to play files, set the volume level, stop, and also query if a file is playing. So now, if you open up the simple example that I included, you can see that to play a file, you literally just um, include the library which requires software serial, um, instantiate it, and then tell it to play a file and wait. In this case, uh, a random file. I can, you can also pass in a volume. And here we have it um, playing random numbers. Now, if you're going to go to all this effort, um, it'd be a shame to just play random numbers. So I hooked it up to a ping distance sensor and wrote a simple script to play a little game. Getting warmer. Warmer still. Warmer still. You found me. Ooh, getting colder. Getting warmer. You found me. Getting colder. Getting colder. Getting colder. Oh, you're miles away. So there you go, the library can be found on GitHub, the link of which is in the description. 
I've included 10 files um, speaking English, one to 10 for testing, uh, the documentation and a screenshot of the pinouts of the module. So check it out and let me know what project you would use a module like this for. And if you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.